Hey, this is Elise with Simpson Math, and in this video, we are continuing to look at how to factor using the AC method, but this time on a special type of trinomials. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos, especially the one where I introduced the AC method, stop, stop, don't watch this one, you're gonna spoil everything. Go, go check out that one. Uh, if you're ready to go though, let's get started. On your screen are six trinomials that have been factored, and you probably recognize most of these because they've shown up in the previous videos. But there's a special thing about about these six um, about these six trinomials. Especially if you look at the top row, you might spot it. Did you see it? All of these trinomials have an a value of one. So in terms of the ax squared plus bx plus c, it has an a equaling one. So on this top row. The uh, a equaling one is a little bit obvious, um, but on the second row, after you factor out the GCF, you then see an a of one, all right? So they all have an a of one, but now let's look a little bit harder at the factor pairs. So look at this one. So we have a five X and a six X, and look what I end up with, five, uh, X plus five, X plus six over here. I have a two minus a two X and a negative three X for my factor pairs. Look at my factors, X plus two, X minus three. Hmm. Over here, I have a negative two and a negative three and I end up with X minus two, X minus three. Does that work with these with G, with GCFs? When I had an A of one after the GCF? So here I have a factor pair of seven and seven and yep. Here I have a factor pair of three and negative five Yep, here I have to this last one, uh, negative five and negative seven, and yep. So what's going on here is that whenever we see an A value of one, we can bypass those middle steps completely. Now again, this is a special case when A equals one. So whenever you see A equals one, you go, oh goody, this is just gonna make it be a little bit easier. Um, but if, you, if A is not one, Pull out the GCF, you might end up you might end up with an A of one. But if you pull out the GCF and you still have an A that's one, then you need to go through this go through the steps that, that you just mastered. All right, so let's practice and see if we can jump uh, jump in our factoring steps. So uh, this first one, are we able to jump? Am I able to skip those steps and just go straight to my factors? Well, yes, I'm able to jump because a equals one. So how do we do that? So we still go through the GCF part, we'll make sure it's in order, do the GCF, and we still do our factor pairs. So a is one, then multiply times the eight, and our ac is eight. Um, granted, it is just c, but just keep it, keep in the habit of using the ac. So our ac is, is eight, but multiplies to be eight, and adds to be six. Well, that's two and four, Add together to be six, and I'm able to jump directly and say, I, I don't care about any of the other math, any other steps. I know that this factor is going to end up with x plus two, x plus uh, four, rather, uh, directly from this. So let me uncover that and show you. Immediately, x plus two, x plus four. Now, I have the work here just to prove it to you. If you were to do the middle two steps, which it's never wrong to do those middle two steps, you'll end up with the same thing anyway, but you're able to jump instantly. All right, so look at this one. Are we able to jump? When you first look at it, you go, nope, that's a two. Mr. Leeds, that's not a one, but let's check our GCF. So what's the GCF of that? The GCF of that is two. And so after I pull out that two, what am I left with? A 1x squared minus 5x minus 24. 1x squared, that a is 1, so therefore, yes, we are able to jump. So then I find that my factor pair is uh, 3 and negative 8, because 3 minus 8 is negative 5. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. Again, always be mindful about your signs. So then I can jump, and I know directly from this, I'm going to have x plus 3, x minus 8, end of story. Now, I do have it worked out lightly, lightly here in gray, uh, those middle two steps, just to prove to you, then yes, that's what we do, uh, uh, keep 
uh, don't lose your two. Uh, I, I don't think I said it a second ago, but make sure that we keep that two. All right, this last one. Can we jump? Well, in the last one, it sure worked out, right? But what's the GCF? I see a GCF. What's the GCF? The GCF is 2. So that means after I factor out the 2, what's my A? 3. So can I jump? No. We cannot just jump and skip those steps um, because the A is not 1. If you did jump incorrectly, you would end up with 2 times x plus 2 x plus 3. That is very wrong. Uh, but if you do the, uh, if you were to do the full factored set, you would end up with 2 times 3x plus 2 plus 1. Notice that these are very different. All right? So generally speaking, if you notice that if we have an a of whatever this a value is, the factors of this a are going to be represented in those uh, first two factors of of my binomials of my with those code x's and the <laughs> generally speaking hopefully you might have noticed by now that the whatever you see for this a the factors of that a are represented in the coefficients of our x's within the binomials so the factors of three is only one and three so I'm going to get one of these with a three and one of these with a one the reason why the AC method is so nice is some uh, you might have had a teacher or instructor in previously that made you have to like think about all the different combinations and just kind of guess and check AC method uh, doesn't worry about that but this is uh, but there, there is that pattern that does arise that whatever you're, this uh, the factors here are going to be showing up in those coefficients of those X's So from this point on, whenever you are factoring a trinomial, if you see an A of 1 after the GCF, then you can immediately just jump, or after you get your, you have to decide on the factor pairs. Decide the factor pairs and then jump. You can skip the middle, oops, erasing things again. You can skip the middle two steps um, every time here on out. So hopefully you're seeing that this is just an easier version of, of AC method when A is 1. If you don't want to just jump, keep doing it. Um, but hopefully you'll see that at some point that that will save you some time. Um, but then if A is 1, you just got to do it the regular way, but you've already mastered that. So uh, let's move on and talk about some special cases of factoring that don't use the AC method. Um, so join me in the next video for that.